Let us pray, Father God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the word that you have given to me. I ask that, Lord, you be with me as I'll be sharing with my friends. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, hello again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to talk to you about something that has been eating me up lately. And that is fear. Fear for what is happening around us right now coronavirus is killing our loved ones every single day you know back then we'd hear that your corona has killed a certain old woman somewhere far but now corona has come very close to home corona has hit home actually corona is killing our loved ones young people anyone is at risk of getting this COVID-19 and you know yesterday I was just chatting with my husband about it and I just started feeling sad really sad and despondent I just I was just down you know he's like yo this is too serious now anyone is at risk and as a mother you know you're just gonna be thinking the kids my babies who's gonna be taking care of them as they are, they are too young you know well, i just thought you know what let me just i know i know that a lot of people are going through it you know a lot of people we, we are losing our sisters our brothers our mothers people are motherless people are fatherless because of COVID 19 and i'm just here to say you know what mm -mm. I, I feel your pain I feel your pain and I I just wanted to say just be strong remain strong although you're being hit left right and center just stand and how do you stand you stand in the power power of, of Christ it, you stand in the power of the Christ. you stand in the power of the blood of the lamb you know you stand in hope you stand in courage you stand strong and you cannot be strong on your own you know remain hopeful guys if we lose hope we might as well all die you know especially for you who are COVID-19 positive right now remain hopeful I remember there was a time I was really low I was feeling sick I was very sick it was just after giving birth and I think I think three weeks later I was just a mess I felt so run down it was I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm gone, I'm dying, I'm dying, I thought so, so I went to the doctor, just, I don't, I just, they're like, what am I going to do there anyway, um, he wouldn't understand me, so I tried to explain myself to the man, and he, I think he, he could understand me, he understood me, but the one thing that gave me a lift after the, the doctor's appointment was not the medication that I took, was not any other thing, but what the doctor said he said you're gonna be fine you'll be fine i was like what really i'll be fine you know from that mentality of i'm dead it's, it's over with me to being told that you're gonna be fine i i was just i just hope i, I actually became better I, i'm fine as you can see i'm good i'm okay because of the words that I believed. So I choose to believe that you'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Choose to just take care of yourself and be positive, you know. Um, God has said in, in the Bible, has told us not to fear so many times, not to be afraid. He's been telling us from Genesis to Revelation, fear not, don't be afraid, don't be anxious, right? So he knows exactly what fear does. Fear will just will kill you before COVID-19 gets to you, you know. So fear on its own kills. So let us not be paranoid. I'm not saying let's not take care of ourselves, but let's not be paranoid. But let us just 
be anchored in the cross. I'm, I'm speaking to you as much as I'm speaking to myself. Thank you, Jesus. So, um, let us just go to the book of Second Timothy 1 verse 7. It's a, it's a very famous verse. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Go, whenever you're feeling fearful, just say out in Jesus' name. This is not the spirit that God gives us. God has not given us a spirit of fear. When you're feeling fearful, know that it is coming from the devil and it needs to go. You know, just say, God, please, you have not given me the spirit. It is the spirit of the devil. I chase it out in Jesus' name. Right. And then you claim what God has given you. It says he has given us what? Spirit of power. We are powerful in Christ. A spirit of love. And a sound mind. If your mind is all over the place, sure, you will not stand. Right? So, I just wanted to say that fear not. God says, I am with you. Isaiah 41 10. My, one of my favorites. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. I'll strengthen you. If you need strength, He says in His word, I'll strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I remember there was a time I was going through it. You know, I cherished the word like <laughs> I lived literally by every word. I could not. You know, if God says, I'll give you strength, I, he, when he says, I'll strengthen you, I took it like, Mudim, you said you'll strengthen me. I am weak right now. I want to get up. Give me that strength that you spoke of. You're so famous of saying strength, strength, strength. I need for you right now, please, ask for that strength from God. Let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you so much for lifting me up with these words that I'm just... Um, speaking to my friends on the internet i asked that holy lord because of what COVID 19 has been doing to us i asked that lord you lift them up lord you pour your holy spirit upon them oh gracious father someone who is sick and about to give up oh holy lord i ask that lord you forgive them their sins and lord you give them strength and you give them life oh holy lord we would like to have hope we would like to have joy we would like to have peace in you lord and we claim all that in jesus mighty name amen